everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beeson's and I upload every single Sunday and Wednesday, except I will not be uploading next Sunday for Easter. I'm taking the day off. But anyway, today we're doing Get It All Done and it is our last Get It All Done before Easter. So I'm hoping to sprinkle some Easter stuff into here as well. But the first thing we're doing is getting a workout in. We placed a Costco order, so I'll go ahead and show you everything that we got from that. And I'm trying to balance it with like work, like, for me, do I want to do really good work in life? It's like really combined, but right now the balance needs to be a little extra because the kids are on spring break. We have tickets to go see the new Kung Fu Panda movie at 1.30. So I love having like events like that planned. So I know we're definitely getting like that family time in. We're also hoping to maybe go out to dinner and just do something like that because we didn't go away for spring break. Um, a lot of our friends like went away. We're like, guys, we have a bay house. Like we have stuff to do here. Um, so this spring break, we're staying local and just doing like trying to do day trips and things like that to make it special for the kids. So we're also hoping to get to the bay at some point as well. Hi, sweet pea. Um, but first things first, let's get a workout in and go from there. Hi, Elvin. Hi. She wants to work out too. But you're gonna work out on your gymnastics bar? No, my monkeys. Oh, yeah, your monkey bars. Okay, girl. I also just wanted to mention that I downloaded my fitness pal today to track macros. Not really so much for everything else. I don't like being like super crazy about my food. I always like to do like intuitive eating and things like that and just eat real foods. But I feel like I always am too low on protein. So that's why I downloaded this um, to kind of like keep track of protein. And then I also wanted to start using my Couch to 5K app again. And it says that you can sync them both on here. So that's what I'm starting with is the couch to 5K. Thinking back on us and everything that went wrong. Never said goodbye, think I broke your trust. Should have known this all along. Don't wanna be the one that you're trying to avoid. I'm feeling so confused. Why did I act so annoyed? Cause I don't wanna be strangers, baby. The next time when we meet and I Standing on the border, the walls around me kept me safe. I couldn't see that I was shutting you out. I'll stuck up and proud, but I'm waking up now. workout. That was my first time doing couch to 5k in a while and still felt good. Um, my rib has been hurting for a while so that's why I haven't done that. But anyway, here is our Costco haul from Instacart. So we got maple syrup, our produce, we got bananas, oranges, lemons. I want to make my lemon coconut protein balls again from my high protein meal prep video. They are so good and they like saved me when I was like needing a snack. Strawberries. We didn't get a ton of produce because you know our family we usually get a lot of produce but because we're going to the bay so we just didn't get as much as we normally do and then also these smoothie bags I get every time we order Costco because they are my favorite they have blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, and bananas and then I'll just do like a scoop of banana protein in this it's very good together um, and then this I love which is surprising because I used to like hate red meat altogether, and I'm back to liking it um, but this is grass-fed beef sirloin, 19 grams of protein per serving. Let's see what the serving size is. Also, it's $23.44, which I feel like is a great price for grass-fed beef. Um, the ingredients are clean, sirloin steak seasoning, and then it's olive oil, which is nice. It's not like any seed oils, um, sugar, and sea salt. So the serving size is three ounces which I have no idea how much that would actually be. When you, I don't, I don't sit there and weigh my food, but anyway, it's really good. The kids like it as well. And then this pizza, the kids love to have. We, it's always just good to have a frozen pizza in case the kids hate what I'm making for dinner that night. And then this comes with three, so it's a good value. We keep it in the outside freezer. Chris ordered these for himself. I mean, 
they are delicious, but they're cheaper to get it from Costco compared to Starbucks. Butter. This is my first time. I'm getting ready to make this for like, I should call it lunch because it's 11.27, but I only had a coffee and a protein shake so far, so I definitely needed something to eat. So I'm hoping that these are good. Our chicken breakfast sausage. And then these rice noodles we always get from Costco. We use these in our chicken noodle soup and it's delicious. And then pretzel crisp, staple. Tostitos, a staple. Goldfish, this has 45 packs. And this will probably last us like two weeks, maybe, with all of the um, you know play dates that we have here. This is always something all the neighborhood kids go for, so it's good to just buy like a big box of that and throw it out when they're having their play dates. Chicken stock, I just always like to have on hand, and we're running low. Got some eggs and orange juice, and then some other staples. We also got toilet paper, but the girls already put it away. Also, thank you to my children; they all they brought all this food to the island for me. Um, so we got more garbage bags. I always make sure to get unscented. I cannot stand scented garbage bags. They absolutely like make me nauseated and give me a super bad headache. Um, paper towels, Dove. This is the soap that I've been using since I was born. Like literally, my mom still uses it too. Then I got some more coconut water. I did think I was ordering the big one, but this is fine. Um, juices because we're having Easter here and just juice boxes for the kids. Also, we signed up to bring juice for Everly's Easter party, so I'll let her pick which flavor she wants to bring in. And then we got some soda for the party. I always like to get the mini cans. I just feel like they are better than a bunch of like half drank cans everywhere. Um, and the same with the waters. I like to get the mini waters. If you wanna have four mini waters when you're here, that's fine, but again, it's better. Especially, we also use these for play dates too because Carter's just, um, passes out water bottles when they're all sweaty outside playing soccer. And that's our little haul. It's not a huge haul compared to like what we normally get, but it's what we need right now. Side note, I want to try these like in a corn tortilla with like some salsa and a plain Greek yogurt or sour cream and cilantro. I feel like that would be really good. I know I always like to share like what the kids are eating just to give you ideas and just like most moms out there, they're having chicken nuggets and french fries. Taking a break from Annie's mac and cheese today. And then Chris and I are just gonna have like a brunch right now, some eggs and some sausage. So that's a plus. Um, and then they got some ketchup and barbecue. Evis is napping, that's why I don't see her plate. Mine and Chris's meal does not look delicious, but I'm hungry enough that I think it will be. I'm excited because I'm trying this one for the first time from Whole Foods. I love the Trader Joe's one, but I just never get to go there because it's not like close to my house. So I'm praying that it lives up to it. All right, so we are on day two. Yesterday, after like doing our morning routine and all of that, we, where did we go yesterday? Uh, we were, yesterday, we went to Panda. We went to go see Kung Fu Panda, and Tanner, what did we do after that? Iron Oven. We went to Iron Oven. And, and I got a cowbell. Okay, where, where did you get that from? Uh, the, when we went to see chores with Bibi. Oh, yeah, that that's so thing. cool. Also, Tanner is really giving the tooth fairy a run for her money. He lost another tooth yesterday. Yesterday. So now we have no front teeth. Let's see him. <laughs> um, we're at the P.O. box right now. Chris and Carter just went in to pick up a backdrop for Easter. Can you remember trying to do like all of the Easter things today? We're going to do a backyard cleanup. So now we're just going to go run errands. Um, so we already picked up the backdrop. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to the car wash. We are 
gonna grab some like eggs and stuff in the dollar store for our Easter egg hunt. And what else? Oh, we ordered, we as in Chris, ordered the boys clothes from Old Navy for Easter because I was in charge of me and the girls' outfits and he was in charge of the boys' outfits. A little sneak peek. Cool. Okay, so it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It says, you know how? You can see it's as big as it goes on the wall. It says, Happy Easter. Can we see it? She always makes the best backdrops and they're so affordable and cute I and customized. It peace. We're gonna do like a voiceover or just some music now. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention that Everly, we just dropped Everly off at preschool, so that's why she's not here. She doesn't have spring break until a couple days from now, but she's gonna play hooky tomorrow because we're gonna go to the bay. This is shaking all over the place, sorry. gas and apparently the lottery is really high right now so we don't normally play the lottery but the kids want it too so uh let's do it we are home real quick before i pick up as i'm putting together her bags i got this stuff so long ago but we're gonna be at the bay hopefully for her easter party so i'm gonna quickly throw these together before i pick her up so that i can give them to her teacher so these i actually got from tj maxx they're $7.99 comes with eight bags and there's only six students in her class. They are adorable, look at these. Can you see it? So cute. Perfect little size. And then my kids always love these, so I got them for her class from the Dollar Tree again a while ago, but I did see them again today, so they do still have them. And it's a pack of four and it's like those balloons that you like hit and then they pop up. Uh, it's fun for kids. So that's the first thing that is going in here. Bubbles, of course. I'm seeing there's something in this bag that I forgot to put out for St. Patrick's Day, too. I meant to use this gold fringe backdrop and completely forgot. Who else as a mom just like has things that just completely go out of your brain because there's so much on your mind or someone's always talking to you? I just feel sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, how could I forget this? But then I remember it's just a lot for our brains to absorb and you gotta give yourself grace. I put a little goodie in there. So these gummy bears are allergy safe, I believe. Has wheat, but nobody in her class is uh, gluten free. And last but not least, these little little fidget worms. I don't know what the heck they're called. It's gonna write love Everly on them. These honestly couldn't be any cuter. They're so simple and they're attainable because there are six kids in her class. My other kids, they have like 23 and 26 kids in their class and this isn't happening. I got back home with Evie and I put her for a nap after her lunch and everything. I fell asleep with her. So I just woke up and now I feel like, oh crap, like where was I? 
Now I'm just going to go outside and like Chris is out there cleaning up all the dog poop. Thanks, honey. Um, the kids are jumping on the trampoline and I'm going to power wash the deck or at least attempt to. Last year I just used a magic eraser, but this year I want to see if just like power washing it will do. But I might have to do both. Let's go see. <laughs> Yay, Abby! dream of these trees. Aren't get they gorgeous? One. Mommy, just get one. Just get one. All right, so we are back. We did some yard work. The kids all helped out. We drained underneath of the trampoline, and then we went to Home Depot to get some soil, which I met a subscriber. Hi, Tara, if you're watching this. Um, the reason I wanted this was for a couple reasons. I got these from Dollar Tree, like these little tan planters. And I like that at the bottom they had like this little black thing and I think it was to help with, I don't think drain. You can, yeah, there's like four little spots here that you can um, poke holes into for drainage. So I'm guessing that's what the X's are for. Yeah, punch out drainage. Um, so I liked that for a dollar, you can't really beat it. I don't, also don't think these are going to be staying in here. I don't know because right now everything I planted is looking a little crispy. I've been watering it. Maybe I left, I've got like a plant light. Maybe I left the plant light on too long. But I'm going to try to revive them with some more soil, lots of water, and prayers. And then this is me being extra. Instead of just buying all the women that are coming to my house for Easter flowers, I was like, oh, well, I'm going to get these cute little things, cricket something on them, and then plant flowers. However, the reason I'm regretting it, and we're not going to cricket anything on it tonight, I'm probably closer to Easter, so I'll have to put a picture up on Instagram or on my stories on YouTube to show you what it looks like. But 
the reason I'm upset is because pansies are like the only thing that I could find that were like actually like looking lively. I also really like to add like vines and like, you know, just like other th things to my planters to make them pretty, but literally they are just gonna be pansies, but there's a thought that counts, right? And then I have some wildflower um, seed that I wanted to plant as well as some mint. So this will be the last thing in this video because then I think we're gonna go to the bay. So excited for it. You think you know me? Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. You think I'm slowly cutting my ties with. Christmas miracle, or Easter miracle, I should say. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm trying, and I'm gonna learn from my mistakes, right? Here's my wildflowers, I hope they come out nice. Squash, stay with me, please. This one's from homies. Oh gosh. All right, moving on to these now. These go better than the last round. I don't have high hopes, but I water them a lot, hoping that hoping that they'll be okay until we get back. It's really late right now. We're at the bay, so it's about an hour and a half from our house, so we made it here safely. Just got the kids to bed, but it is like after 11, so I'm exhausted. Um, but they took out the old door that was right here and put a giant window because we have another door right here that's still very much under construction. We weren't expecting it to be like as messy as it is, so there was like a lot to clean up, but. I'm sure we're gonna have so much fun here. I hope that you all enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And I also, I made a little printable before I left just to like get our Easter menu under control. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So this is just like a template on Canva that I changed to make it like how I wanted it. I have um, appetizers, entrees, desserts, drinks, and then games and activities just to like keep all that in line because everybody is bringing something. So it just, just helps us like helps us as in me <laughs> keep it all together um so i'll put this on my website i did have to scale it to 75 percent to fit properly but just in case anybody wants this i'll go ahead and upload it to tiffanybaston.com So I